In this demonstration, I'll show you how to solve exponential equations that contain the base e. There are three questions in this demonstration. We'll start off with Q1. Our target is x. To solve for x, we first need to isolate for it by removing this 112. And the way we do that is we divide both sides by 112. We end up with 157 over 100, 112 is equal to the base e, 3x plus 2. Now to get to this x, we need to somehow get rid of this e. And the way you do it is you lawn both sides, lawn. Now, what is ln? Ln is equal to log of base e of x. So if we ln both sides, we end up with the following. ln of 157, 112 is equal to ln of e 3x plus 2. And what this does is it eliminates this e. And I'll show you. Just increase the spacing here. So we end up with this, whatever this is equal to, we'll just leave it the way it is for now. And on the right side, you end up with 3x plus 2. Now the reason why this works is because if we were to log of base e of e, this and this would cancel out. Or another way to look at it is that log of base e to e to the power of some exponent, let's say 2x, you'd bring the 2x down, then you have log of e of e, which would equal to 1. And that's the reason why that works. So to solve for x here, we would bring the positive 2 over. It becomes a negative. And... We would use our calculator now. Ln of 157 over 112 minus 2. We end up with negative 1.66 is equal to 3x. And we would divide both sides by 3 to get... Divide this by 3. And we end up with x is equal to approximately 0 0.55. Let's move on to the next question. Here we have e on both sides. So the game plan would be to isolate one of those sides. And the best way to go about doing this is we can divide both sides by 2. Because that would eliminate the 2 on the left side. And on the right side, you would end up with 2 e x minus 1 and on the right side on the left side you would end up with e to the power of 3x plus 2. Now we can easily get rid of this e by lawning both sides, natural logging both sides. So let's do that. If we natural log the left side and the right side, we end up with this. We end up with the ln and the e cancelling out, leaving us with just the exponent. And on the right side, here, you have 2 being multiplied to e to the power of x minus 1. Therefore, we can distribute this ln to both of these factors. ln 2 plus ln e x minus 1. That is one of the properties of logs. So let's continue. This will be a constant, will be a number. And in this area right here, you would end up with, I'm just going to continue my work up here, starting off with the left side. I'm just going to leave ln 2, of course. I don't want to get a decimal version of it for now. And on this side, you would end up with plus x minus 1 because the ln and the e will cancel. So I'm going to dedicate the left side for the x terms. Bring this over. It was positive, became negative. Ln 2, writing it out like the way it is. Minus 1, 
minus 2. 3x minus 1x is equal to 2x. And on the right side, we end up with, let's use our calculator, ln of 2 minus 1 minus 2. And I'll just write this down, negative 2.31 approximately. And x is equal to that value divided by 2 divided by 2 is equal to negative 1.15. So there you have it. x is equal to negative 1.15. Lastly, we will answer this question. And we'll start off by dividing both sides by 1.05. And if we do that, we end up with 4x plus 1. And on the right side, we end up with 5.96 divided by 1.05. Let's use our calculator to figure that out. Actually, before we do that, let's pretend we have the answer and just let's continue to lawn both sides now. If we lawn both sides, we end up with 5.96 cancelling out where you end up with 4x plus 1 on the right side, you can go ahead now and use your calculator, ln 5.96 divided by 1.05 gives us an answer of 1.73, and I'm going to move this over, which would make it minus 1, so we end up with 0.73 6 and on the left side 4x therefore our x is equal to that number divided by 4 0.184 so there you have it that is how to solve equations that contain the base e the trick is to use ln to use the natural logarithm to isolate for the content that's found in the ex exponents area if you have any more questions related to this, please comment below or use our website at biology-forums.com. If you found this video helpful, a like or a subscription to our channel would be appreciated.